I want to show you guys what a prime yellow morel spot looks like in New York. I've hunted all over New York and the spot I'm about to show you is by far the most consistent layout uh, for where you'll find big yellow morels. So this is an old apple tree. This is not a thorn apple. I do not typically find morels around thorn apple. This is a real apple, wild apple tree. And uh, it's being overgrown by some cedars, some poplar, some ash, which is also dead now. There's an ash over there because the ash borer came through our area and just destroyed all of our ash trees. Very sad. But anyway, these apple trees are the key. Um, that's the main uh, piece of trunk going up there too. Uh, this tree still has some life left to it. If you look all the way up there it still has some leaves on it but it's really struggling to get out of this canopy of these other trees you can see there's a maple there a cedar so basically it's getting shaded out and overgrown um, but these are the trees you want to look for to find big yellow so and they're not always really close to the tree either um, so if we walk over here see right down there you got a nice yellow morel growing right there and that's probably three feet from the base of the tree maybe two feet tuck that stem butt back in there pick the stem butt so it's a beautiful Morkella esculenta, yellow morel. So <clears throat> that one was right next to the tree. But they are not always that close. A lot of times they'll be quite a ways away from the apple. <clears throat> so I want to show you a couple more here. So come over here. I want to step on it. See here. That's another beautiful big yellow right there. This mushroom is probably 25 feet from the base of that tree, but I would almost guarantee you that this is still growing in conjunction um, with that apple tree over there. Those roots from that tree easily reach over this far. So there's another big beautiful yellow there. And I'm just kind of taking a peek around here. The other thing, we got a spruce tree on the other side here too, and those spruce cones. I was just talking with a subscriber today about the pine cones or spruce cones. But when you're walking along looking for morels and you see one of these, it kind of catches your eye like, oh, there's one. No, no, that's not one. It's just a spruce cone. <laughs> so we come over here. We got one more hiding right here another beautiful yellow and again that one's probably 20 25 feet from the tree so typically when I spot a good tree uh, you just want to get low move slow and uh, you know work your ways a ways out from the tree don't just assume that any associated mushrooms are going to be right close to the tree because they might not be um, they could be as far as you know 25 30 feet or more away from the tree so keep that in mind i'm gonna keep walking around see if i can pick a few more and i'll catch you guys next video